Dear students, today in Kingdom Animalia part 4, we will discuss about the phylum Chordata. Under this, we are going to talk about the subphylum Urochordata, subphylum Cephalochordata, subphylum Vertebrata, class Psychostomata. Under superclass species, we are going to talk about the class Chondrichthys, class Ostichthys. Then we are going to talk about the class Amphibia, class Reptilia, class Apes, and class Mammalia. Finally, we will discuss about ornithologist Dr. Salimali. Phylum Chordata. It's a Greek word. Chorda means string. Chorda is the largest phylum with most familiar group of animals, such as fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals, and less known forms such as lancelets, otherwise called the amphioxus, and tunicates, called the ascidian. All chordates possess three fundamental distinct features at some stage of their life cycle. Number one, the presence of elongated rod-like notochord below the nerve cord and above the alimentary canal. It serves as a primitive internal skeleton. It may persist throughout life in lancelets and lampreys. In adult vertebrates, it may be partially or completely replaced by backbone or vertebral column. Number two, the dorsal hollow or tubular fluid filled nerve cord lies above the notochord and below the dorsal body wall. It serves to integrate and coordinate the body functions. In higher chordates, the anterior end of the nerve cord gets enlarged to form the brain and the posterior part becomes the spinal cord protected inside the vertebral column. Number three, the presence of pharyngeal gill slits or clefts in all chordates at some stage of their life cycle. It is a series of gill slits or clefts that perforates the walls of the pharynx and appears during the development of every chordate. In aquatic forms, pharyngeal gill slits are vascular, lamellar and form the gills for respiration. In terrestrial chordates, traces of non-functional gill clefts appear during embryonic developmental stages and disappear later. Besides the above said features, chordates are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, coelomates with organ system level of organization. They possess post-anal tail, closed circulatory system with a ventral myogenic heart except in amphioxus. Here you can see the image of a typical chordate, it has a dorsal hollow nerve cord, a notochord below the dorsal hollow nerve cord, the muscle segments which helps in locomotion, a mouth, a pharyngeal slits or clefts, the anus and the muscular post anal tail. Now, what are the differences between the chordates and non chordates? Chordates they have a notochord, whereas non chordates, notochord is absent. In chordates, dorsal hollow and single nerve cord is present. In non chordates, double ventral solid nerve cord is present. In chordates, pharynx perforated by gill slits, whereas non chordates, gill slits are absent. In chordates, heart is ventrally placed. In non chordates, heart is dorsal or laterally placed or absent. A post anal tail is present in chordates, whereas a post anal tail is absent. Alimentary canal is placed ventral to the nerve cord in chordates, whereas in non chordates, alimentary canal is present dorsal to the nerve cord. Now let us move on to the classification of phylum chordates. Phylum chordates is classified into subphylum urochordates and subphylum cephalochordates and subphylum vertebrata. Vertebrata are further classified into section agneta which has class cyclostomata and section nathostomata which has superclass species which is classified into class chondrichthys and class ostichthys. The superclass tetrapods have amphibia, reptilia, apes and mammalia under this group. Subphylum Eurochordata or tunicata. It's a Greek word. Aura means a tail. And the Latin word cord means it's a cord. They are exclusively marine and are commonly called sea squids. Mostly sessile, some pelagic or free swimming. Exist as solitary or colonial forms. Body is unsegmented and covered by a test or tunic. Adult forms are sac-like. Coelom is absent but has an atrial cavity surrounding the pharynx. Notochord is present only in the tail region of the larval stage, hence named urochordata. 
Alimentary canal is complete and circulatory system is of open type. The heart is ventral and tubular. Respiration is through gill slits and clefts. Dorsal tubular nerve cord is present only in the larval stage and a single dorsal ganglion is present in the adults, mostly hermaphrodites. Development is indirect and includes a free swimming tadpole larva with corded characters. Retrogressive metamorphosis is seen. Here you can see the image of tunicate, the adult form on the left side and the larval form on the right side. The adult form you can see the parts, the incurrent siphon, the sensory tentacles surrounding the mouth, the tunic, the pharynx, the endostyle, the pharyngeal slits, the mantle, the heart, the gonads, ovary and testis, stolons, stomach, tunic, intestine, anus, genital duct, atrium, pigment spots, excurrent siphon. The right side image which is the larval form you can see the mouth leading into the pharynx having the pharyngeal slits, the anus, the stomach, the notochord, the post anal tail and the dorsal hollow nerve cord. Examples of this group Acidia, Salpa, Doliolum. You can see the image of Acidia in the left side. In the middle you can see the Salpa and on the right side Doliolum. Now subphylum Cephalocordata. It's a Latin word. Cephalo means head and a Greek word Corda means cord. Cephalocordates are marine forms found in shallow waters leading to burrowing mode of life. They are small fish-like cylindrate forms with corded characters such as notochord, dorsal tubular nerve cord and pharyngeal gill slits throughout their life. Close type of circulatory system is seen without heart. Excretion is by protonephridia. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect and includes a free swimming lava. Example, brachiostoma, otherwise called the amphioxus or lancelet. You can see the different parts of the amphioxus of cephalocordata. You have a buccal area having the mouth, the pharyngeal gill slits, the gonads, the atrial pore, the gastrointestinal tract leading out to the anus, the notochord, the nerve cord and the cerebral vesicle. Subphylum vertebrata. Subphylum vertebrata, Latin word vertebras means backbone. Vertebrates are also called higher chordates. And they possess notochord during embryonic stage only. The notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Hence, all vertebrates are chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. On the right side, you can see the backbone of the human being. It has a clivus. There are five cervical vertebra, twelve thoracic vertebra, five lumbar vertebra. 5 sacral vertebra and 4 coccyx vertebra, totally 33 vertebrae. Inside the vertebral column is the spinal cord. The conus medullaris starts at the level of L1 leading on to the corda equina. In between the vertebrae are the cartilaginous discs. Vertebrae possess paid appendage such as fins or limbs. Skin is covered by a protective skeleton comprising of scales, feathers, hairs, claws, nails etc. Respiration is aerobic through gills, skin, buccopharyngeal cavity and lungs. Vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three or four chambers and kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation. Below we can see the epidermal appendages like the hair, the nails, the horns, the hooves, the beak and the feathers. Subphylum vertebrata is divided into two divisions. Agnetha and Nathostomata. Agnetha includes jawless fish like aquatic vertebrates without paid appendages. Notochord persists in the adult. In Nathostomata includes jawed vertebrates with paired appendages. Notochord is replaced partly or wholly by the vertebral column. Agnetha includes one important class, Cyclostomata. Nathostomata includes jawed fishes like pieces and tetrapoda, which includes the amphibia, the reptilia, the apes and mammals. The superclass species includes all fishes which are essentially aquatic forms with paired fins for swimming and gills for respiration. Pieces includes cartilaginous fishes, 
belonging to chondritic ties and bony fishes belonging to osteic ties. Here you can see the classification of vertebrata divided into agnetha which lacks jaws and nathostomata which bears jaws. The agnetha is divided into class cyclostomata. The nathostomata is divided into pieces which bears fins like the class chondritic ties and class osteic ties. Tetrapoda which bears limbs. They belong to class amphibia, reptilia, apes and mammals. Class cyclostomata. It's a Greek word. Cyclos means circle. Stomata means mouth. All members of cyclostomata are primitive, poikilothermic, jawless, aquatic vertebrates. They are ectoparasites on some fishes. Body is slender and eel-like, bearing 6 to 15 pair of gill slits for respiration. Mouth is circular without jaws and suctorial. Heart is two-chambered and circulation is of close type. No paired appendages. Cranium and the vertebral column are cartilaginous. Cyclostomes are marine but migrate to the fresh waters for spawning. They have anadromous migration. After spawning, within a few days, they die. The larva, ammocete, after metamorphosis, returns to the ocean. The image below, you can see the adult lamprey, which has the buccal cirri, buccal funnel, the lateral line, the nostrils, the eye, external gill slits, myomias, anterior dorsal fin, posterior dorsal fin, the tail and the caudal fin. On the right side, you can see the section of the cyclostome, which has the posterior dorsal fin, the radials, fin muscles, spinal cord, notochord, caudal artery, caudal vein, ventral lobe of caudal fin, dermis, and the epidermis. Examples, Petromyzon, lamprey, whose image is given below on the left side. Mixine, hagfish, which, whose image is given on the right side. Now, class chondrichthys, it's a Greek word. Chondros means cartilage. Ichthys means fish. They are marine fishes with cartilaginous endoskeleton. Notochord is persistent throughout life. Skin is tough, covered by dermal placoid scales. And the caudal fin is heterocircal, asymmetrical both externally and internally. Mouth is located ventrally and the teeth are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful and are predaceous animals. Respiration by lamelliform gills without opercula, gill cover. Excretory organs are mesonephric kidneys. Two chambered heart is present. Cartilaginous fishes are ureotelic and store urea in their blood to maintain osmotic concentration of body fluids. They are poikilothermic and viviparous. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers to aid in internal fertilization. In this image, you can see the external structure of shark. It has a snout, a nostril, a eye, a mouth, a spiracle, gill openings, pectoral fin which is paired, rare margin, pelvic fin which is paired, anal fin, lower lobe of the tail fin, subterminal notch, the upper lobe of the tail fin, caudal fin or the tail fin, pre-caudal pit, second dorsal fin, free rare tip, first dorsal fin, spiracle, eye and the snout. Below you can see the internal structure of the shark. It has an encephalon, the pharynx, the mouth, the inner spherical openings, ventral iota, heart, pectoral fin, liver, posterior intestine, pelvic fin, cloaca, caudal fin, cord, spinal cord, kidney, stomach, anterior intestine, dorsal fin, vertebrae which has the neural arch and the body and the parietal muscles and the skull and the encephalon. Examples of contact ties. Coleodon, called the shark, whose image is given below on the left side. Trigon, otherwise called the stingfish, whose image is given below on the right side. Pristis, called the sawfish, whose image is given below in the center. Now, class Ostictis, it's a Greek word. Osteon means bone, ichthys means fish. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton and spindle-shaped body. Skin is covered by ganoid, cycloid or tenoid scales. 
Respiration is by four pairs of filamentous gills and is covered by an operculum on either side. Air bladder is present with or without a connection to the gut. It helps in gaseous exchange in lung fishes and for maintaining buoyancy in most of the ray fin fishes. They have a ventrally placed two chambered heart. Excretory organs are mesonephric kidneys and are ammonotelic. Presence of well developed lateral line sense organ. Sexes are separate. External fertilization is seen and most forms are oviparous. Here you can see the chondrichthyes fish in this image. Above the external structure shows the mouth, the branchiostegial rays, pectoral fin, pelvic fin, vent, anal fin, peduncle, caudal fin, second dorsal fin, flexible ray elements and the lateral line, the first dorsal fin called the spiny elements and the upper column covering the gills, the eyes and the nares. Below you can see the internal structure of the fish. It has the nostril, the gills, the heart, the liver, the gallbladder, the intestine, the gonads, the scales, the brain, bony vertebrae, muscles, stomach, swim bladder filled with air, kidney and the lateral line of the fish. The examples of vastic ties, you can see the images, flying fish, seahorse, angel fish, carp and the sucker fish. Class Amphibia. It's a Greek word. Amphi means both. Bios means life. Amphibians are the first vertebrates and tetrapods to live both in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. They are poikilothermic. Their body is divisible into head and trunk and most of them have two pairs of limbs. Tail may or may not be present. Their skin is smooth or rough, moist, pigmented and glandular. Eyes have eyelids and the tympanum represents the ear. Respiration is by gills, lungs and through the skin. Heart is three-chambered. Kidneys are mesonephric. Sexes are separate and fertilization is external. They are oviparous and development is indirect. They show hibernation and estivation. The image of the frog you can see on the right side. The mouth, the nostrils, the snout, the eye, the tympanum, the dermal plicae, mid-dorsal line and the hind limbs and the forelimbs. The cut section of the frog you can see after dissection it has the median lobe of the liver, the left lobe of the liver, the left lung, the gallbladder, the stomach, the pancreas, the spleen, the large intestine, the right lobe of liver, the right lung, fat bodies, duodenum, small intestine and the urinary bladder. Examples, bufo, toad, rana, frog, hyla, tree frog, salamandra, salamander, ichthyophis, limbless amphibians. Examples of amphibia, you can see the images, the frog, above left side, toad, above right side, salamander, below left side and ichthyophis, otherwise called Sicilians, in the image below on the right side. Class Reptilia, it's a Latin word, repere or reptum, to creep or crawl. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin with epidermal scales or scutes. Reptiles have three chambered heart, but four chambered heart are found in crocodiles. All are cold blooded amniotes. They are poikilotherms. The external structure of the lizard is shown below. Here you can see the mouth, the nostrils, the head, the ear, the trunk, the short leg, toe with claws and the tail. Most reptiles lay cledoic eggs with extra embryonic membranes like amnion, allantois, chorion and yolk sac. Excretion by metanephric kidneys and are uricotelic. Sexes are separate with well-marked sexual dimorphism. Internal fertilization takes place and all are oviparous. Here you can see on the right side the internal structure of the lizard. It has the lungs, the stomach, the ovaries, the kidney, the heart, the liver, the small intestines and the bladder. Examples Chelone, Turtle, Testudo, Tortoise, Hemidactylus, House Lizard. Chameleon, tree lizard, Kellogg's garden lizard, Draco, flying lizard, Crocodilus, crocodile, poisonous snakes like Nadja, called the cobra, Bangaras, crate, Vipera, viper. The examples of reptiles, the images you can see, the king cobra above and the left side image, right side image you can see the Draco or the flying lizard, 
Below left side image, you can see the crocodile. Below right side image, you can see the chameleon. Turtle and tortoise. What are the differences? Turtles spend most of their lifetime in the water. Carapace is laterally compressed and streamlined. Mostly live in the water or are always found near it. Most of them have webbed feet. Tortoises spend most of their life on land. Carapace is usually dome shaped. They are primarily terrestrial. Feet are short and sturdy with bent legs. Class Apes Apes are commonly known as birds. The characteristic feature of apes is the presence of feathers and the ability to fly except for flightless birds. Example ostrich, kiwi, penguin are all flightless birds. The forelimbs are modified into wings and the hind limbs are adapted for walking, running, swimming and perching. The skin is dry and devoid of glands except the oil gland or preen gland at the base of the tail. Exoskeleton consists of epidermal feathers, scales, claws on legs and the horny covering on the beak. Below you can see the external structure of the pigeon. It has a head, the position of external ear opening, the neck, the contour feathers, wing coverts, black bars, wing feathers called the remiges, the tail feathers called the rectrices, the eye, the sear, nostrils, breast, scales on legs, clawed, anterior toes. The endoskeleton is fully ossified, bony and the long bones are hollow with air cavities called the pneumatic bones. The pectoral muscles of flight called the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor are well developed. Respiration is by compact elastic spongy lungs that are continuous with the air sacs to supplement respiration. In the image below you can see the lungs having connection with the forward air sacs and the rear air sacs. Bones which are pneumatized by forward air sacs. Bones pneumatized by rare air sacs. The heart is four chambered. Apes are homeothermic. Migration and parental care is well marked. Urinary bladder is absent. Sexes are separate into well marked sexual dimorphism. In males, the testes are paired, but in females, only the left ovary is well developed, while the right ovary is atrophied. All birds are oviparous, eggs are megalecithal and cledoic. Fertilization is internal. The internal anatomy of a bird you can see the buccal cavity starting from the beak, the trachea, the esophagus, the stomach, the crop, the heart, liver, bile duct, pancreas, cecum, rectum opening out to the cloaca, ileum, duodenum, ureter, gizzard, kidney, lungs, spinal cord and the brain. The hollow bones lighten the body for flight. Hooded pitohui, whose image is given on the right side, you can see. The hooded pitohui, called the pitohui dicros, is a songbird found in the rainforest of New Guinea. The first poisonous bird to be documented, a neurotoxin called Homo batrachotoxin is found in its skin and feathers, causes numbness and tingling in those touching the bird. Examples of apes, corvus, crow, columba, pigeon, citacula, parrot, pavo, peacock, aptinodites, penguin, neophron, vulture, calcophabs indica, Tamil Nadu state bird called the common emerald dove. The examples of apes above left side you can see the common emerald dove which is the Tamil Nadu state bird. Above right side you can see the vulture. Below left side you can see the hummingbird. Below right side you can see the penguin. Now class mammalia. It's a Latin word. Mama means breast. They are found in a variety of habitats. Their body is covered by hair, a unique feature of mammals. Some of them are adapted to fly or live in water. Presence of mammary glands is the most unique feature of mammals. They have two pairs of limbs adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming and flying. Their skin is glandular in nature, consisting of sweat glands, scent glands and sebaceous glands. Exoskeleton includes horny epidermal horns, spines, scales, claws, nails, hooves and bony dermal plates. Teeth are picodont, heterodont and diphyodont. 
external ears or pinnae are present. The heart is four chambered, possesses a left systematic arch. Mature RBCs are circular, biconcave, and non nucleated. Mammals have a large brain. When compared to other animals, they show greatest intelligence among all animals. Their kidneys are metanephric and are ureotelic. All are homeothermic animals. Sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. Below, you can see the image of the rat, its external structure. It has an external nerve, a rostrum, eyeball, eyelid, head, neck, thorax, abdomen, pelvis, tail, scrotum. It has a pes, manus, pinna, external auditory canal, brise, and the mouth and the mystical pad. The internal anatomy of the rat, you can see here, the larynx, the thyroid gland, the esophagus, left atrium, ventricles, left lung, stomach, spleen, large intestine, cecum, small intestine, liver, diaphragm, right lung, right atrium, thymus gland, trachea, submaxillary salivary gland. Examples, oviparous animals, Ornithorhynchus, known as Platypus, Viviparus, Macropus, Kangaroo, Theropus, Flying Fox, Macaca, Monkey, Canis, Dog, Felis, Cat, Eliphas, Elephant, Equus, Horse, Delphinus, Common Dolphin, Belinoptera, Blue Whale, Panthera, Tigris, Tiger, Panthera, Leo, Lion, Boss, Cattle, Homo sapiens, Humans. Here you can see the examples of mammals. Monkeys, elephant, whale, dolphin, platypus, kangaroo, bat, pangolin, and loris. Now let us talk about Dr. Salim Ali. Salim Moizuddin Abdul Ali is the leading pioneer of Indian ornithology and generally referred as the bird man of India, whose image is given below here. He was born on 12th November 1896 in Bombay and he was the most respected and influential naturalist of 20th century in India. He passed away on 20th June 1987. Young Salim got interested in birds when he was at the age of 10. Later, he has conducted many systematic bird surveys across India and the neighboring countries. He authored many bird books and popularized ornithology in India. Book of Indian Birds and Handbook of Birds of India and Pakistan are the most important books he has written. His autobiography, Fall of a Sparrow, narrates the beginning and the experience of his life with birds. Government of India honored him with the award of Padma Bhushan in 1958 and Padma Vibhushan in 1976. He was nominated to Rajya Sabha in 1985. Salim Ali, through his books, motivated thousands of people to the field of ornithology and natural history. Most of the environmentalists in India traced back their initial motivation to bird watching and Salim Ali's books. In 1990, Government of India started a national research institution in his honor called Salim Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History, called SECON in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. SECON is a Center of Excellence in Research supported by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India. All the researches and activities of SECON is devoted to the cause of conservation of India's biodiversity with focus on birds. The main campus of SECON is situated in the Silvan surrounding of Anaikatti, 24 kilometers northwest of Coimbatore city within the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. SECON's mission is to help conserve India's biodiversity and its sustainable use through research, education and people's participation with birds at the center stage. Second, conducts research in ornithology covering all aspects of biodiversity and natural history. More than 50 research scholars have completed PhD in ornithology and natural history from Second in its 25 years of existence. So Second is known for its many research papers published in national and international journals. Nature education program of SECON is very popular in the region which is inculcating love of birds, nature to thousands of people, especially to school children every year. Children's Ecology Congress of SECON and Salim Ali Trophy nature competitions are flagship events. 
Salim Ali Naturalist Forum of Sakon is the people's bird watching movement in Coimbatore facilitated by Sakon. So today in Kingdom Animalia part 4 we discussed about the phylum Chordata in which we talked about the subphylum Urochordata, Cephalochordata and Vertebrata. And also we discussed about the class Cyclostomata, Pontictis, Ostictis, Amphibia, Reptilia, Apes and Mammalia. We also discussed about the ornithologist Dr. Salim Ali. So thank you, kindly subscribe, like, share and comment to channel Read Med Prep Academy. Register for UG and PG Need Type MCQs in our website www.readmedprepacademy.com. Our Facebook ad is Read Med Prep Academy. Our email is readmedprepacademy at gmail.com. Our Instagram is Read Med Prep Academy. To join Read Med Prep Academy, WhatsApp the number given below. Kindly post your questions in the comment box regarding the lecture. We will reply with appropriate answers. Thank you very much.